What's going on, people? I am your host. The God HG is to the streets. We are in this piece. Um, I had to pop out the new, I had to pop out the new uh the new computer, man. You know, um, I usually do my my, my my podcast on my other laptop. I went to I got ready, you know what I'm saying, to, to do this, uh, to do this video and um my uh, laptop had to do an update. You know, it's taking a little time. So I was like, man, let me pop out the new one. And this motherfucker has crystal clarity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? We got HD over here. You know what I'm saying? My my, my first laptop I've had since about like 2010. So, um, you know, I just got this laptop a few months ago. Um, I really haven't done nothing with it yet. I know what I'm going to do with it. Um, so I've just been having it sitting, but I decided to just go ahead and do it since the other one was updated. So, matter of fact, let me put the thing. Let me put the um. Let me put. Oh, I didn't save it. Hold up, y'all. I gotta. I gotta put the um. The title on there. It's gonna take one second. Yeah. So um. You know, today is, yeah, your boy do know how to type, quick plan. I didn't save it. I had already did it, but I didn't save it, so it didn't keep so far as the scrolling. Here it goes right about now. Boom. All right, y'all see the topic, man. How to, you know, how to distinguish the real from the fake on the internet? Who's real? Who's fake on the internet? Man. This internet shit is some crazy shit. Like, I don't know what niggas is on here doing. I don't know what females is on here doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I ain't judging nobody, but it's just kind of, it's like, like a lot of cornball shit going on. So, um, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Um, man. It's like I don't I don't like being associated. I don't like being associated with cornball shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking like, damn, like I might need to change my whole approach. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, my approach is always different from what other niggas is on, because you know what I'm saying? I ain't I ain't trying to be like nobody. Um, I'm not worried about nobody. Um, you know, to a degree to where it, it affects the accomplishments and the things that I want to do with myself. You know what I'm saying? So this isn't wine. This isn't any type of liquor or anything. This is actually water and cinnamon. What I do is I'll boil um boil a cinnamon stick for you know an hour or two, let it get all in the water, then I drink it. It's good for inflammation. So what I'm drinking. So, um, yeah, man, who's the real, who's the fake on this internet shit, man? You know, like, I'm be honest with you, man. I didn't start, like, really looking at the internet until, like, maybe, i say, like, 2015. Like, nigga, I wasn't even looking, I wasn't paying no attention to no internet shit. To like 2015. It's only like 2021. So six years ago, six years ago, I was 32. You know what I'm saying? And I'm giving it a I'm giving it really like an extra year or two by saying 2015. I really could say, like, really watching the internet, maybe like 2017. You know what I'm saying? I I wasn't no internet dude. You know, I had pages, but you know, I would post stuff like, you know, when I was in Chicago, I was doing this, I was doing that. I would post little stuff, but I wasn't attacking the internet like I am now. You know what I'm saying? Like really, really utilizing the internet to um promote what it is that I'm doing in my life. You know what I'm saying? Um to promote um, 
you know, just being a genuine motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? Like everything that I do on here, man, I do, I do on some genuine shit. Not on here, you know, on that extra shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And when I say extra shit, you know, I'm talking about anything that's outside of what you doing for yourself. Or what's concerning you if you want to put your concerns on the internet. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know how to, I, I know how to break it down. I'm just trying to do, I'm trying to, I'm on my political correct shit right now. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I had an interesting day on the internet today. And, you know, some niggas is on here, some females is on here. And, man, it's like, it's just a, it's like a crab. It's like a, you know, the bucket, crab in the bucket syndrome and shit. Excuse me, my back is. It's like a crab in the bucket uh, uh, thing going on. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, it's sad because, man, the black community, man, we 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 in a bad position, man. We in a real bad position, like. We kind of like on the brink of um like total destruction. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know I don't even want to say total destruction, man. That's probably a little bit too drama dramatic. But probably so. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I don't know what's going on with this internet stuff, man. I'm like, wow, what the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? It's like man, I don't know. I might have picked the wrong thing to do. <laughs> Fucking with you niggas, man. Y'all all this is crazy as hell, boy. Let me tell y'all this. For one, I want to give a shout out. Teary eyes. You know what I'm saying? Met this brother um, at the uh, at the mall. Bought one of his t-shirts. I can't remember his name right now. It's on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember. Teary eyes. Um, a Philly brother. They set up in the in the mall. Got a stand in the mall selling their t-shirts. You know the guy at HG definitely gonna um, rep. It's a nice shirt, man. I like it. You know what I'm saying? Definitely going to rep. You know what I'm saying? Talk to the brother. Real cool brother. Um, I change, I, We exchange information. I got his number. I just can't think of what his name is right now. But if y'all, I'm pretty sure. I think we uh we did Instagrams too. So look up Teary Eyes on Instagram. Make sure y'all go um check him out if you got something that y'all interested in. Make sure y'all support the brother, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, man. Like let me, I, the real from the fake. All right, let's get into it, man. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay. It's people in the world. Everyone's on the internet. Everyone's on the internet. I'm on the internet. Now, you see somebody that you're, that you're um, listening to. So, what you do is you listen to this person, and if what they say intrigue you, you continue to listen to this person. Now, the question is, what's intriguing you? What's grabbing your attention? Now, just think about that. You know, these people on the internet, think about what they're saying, how they're saying it, the mannerisms they're using, why they're saying it, and ask yourself, what is it about this person that attracts me to use my time out of this existence, which is limited to um, to give them that time? What is it that they're giving me for me to give them my energy? What energy are they putting out for them to hold my time and for me to give energy back, even if it's just listening? Okay? So, once you're engaged in someone, once you're engaged in someone, break down what it is that you are intrigued about this person. Is it the way they look? Is it the way their voice sound? Is it whatever that's coming out their mouth? You know what I'm saying? Is it something that is something to believe in? Is it something to um something to hate on? You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that intrigues you, break it down and analyze it. This is what you got to do to distinguish who's real and who's fake. 
But after I'm done saying this, there's a trick to it all. It's not a trick. It's really a, a um, what's the word I can use? It's a understanding you got to have with yourself to where it doesn't matter what a person on the internet is saying if you understand something about yourself. And what I'm realizing is it's a lot of you people at home listening to people, liking people, using your life's time span on this plane to engage in whatever it is that you're hearing, but you're not understanding the thing within yourself that you need to understand to apply or to apply what's being heard to your life or to not apply it and disregard it, even if you're still intrigued in some say, form or fashion by this person. You know what I'm saying? So after you analyze why you why you listen to this person, then you have to break down, and it always boils down to right, wrong, good and bad, positive or negative. That's the whole point of this whole thing. When you're listening to somebody, are you getting something positive or are you receiving something negative? Okay, when you look in at somebody and they're talking to you, as I'm talking to you now, I've been talking for about 11 minutes. Based off these 11 minutes of me talking to y'all, and I got to start looking here so you I can look at you guys, but it's like I'm looking at myself talk. I'd rather look at myself with my own mannerism than look in this little hole in the thing and like, like I'm talking to somebody in your eyes, like fuck that. So, you know what I'm saying? If I look at there, then you get it. If you don't, whatever, whatever. So. As I'm talking to you, are you receiving the energy of any type of negativity? Or are you receiving the energy of positivity? Or are you receiving the energy of nothing? And you're just waiting to, for me to elaborate more to see if I'm going to hook you or not hook you. You see what I'm saying? Now, you already see where I'm going with this. So you see it's nothing negative. You might disagree, but it doesn't because you disagree doesn't necessarily make it make it negative. You know what I'm saying? So, real in the faith. You're looking at somebody, you're analyzing them, you're seeing why you why you like listening to this person. Now you're asking yourself, is what this person telling me something positive? Or what's it telling me is kind of negative and maybe a little chatty patty or you know what I'm saying? Maybe be um, something that isn't beneficial for me. Now, me personally, as a person who listens to people on the internet, I'm looking for jewels or positive things that will inspire me to be the best me, to upgrade me, to help me. You see what I'm saying? To benefit me to learn, understand, and apply positive information that I can use in my life to further me. You see what I'm saying? And when I say further me, I don't mean dumping on the next person for my own beneficial gain. That's negative shit. That's negative shit. If you're using the internet to be on some um, evasive, not evasive, um, intrusive, intrusive, intrusive shit when it comes to people who display their stuff on the internet, then what are you getting out of it? And if you're just doing it to then just say that and then niggas will know what it is. Like you should tell your followers, like, or people who listen to you, like, um, like, look, y'all, I just be going in on motherfuckers. I'm hating on niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and like, let me just say this. The first person I started listening to, I'm, I'm about to put it out right now. The first person I started listening to on the internet was, was Star. Troy Terrain. Niggas hilarious. I fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? And he be hating on motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, 
It's like he be going in on niggas. You know what I'm saying? He be going in on motherfuckers. But I like the I like the fact that he 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 does do it objectively. You know what I'm saying? To the best of his ability, he does it objectively. You know what I'm saying? It's like really just analyzing the situation and being like, okay, well, boom, 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 boom. He break it down. How he break it down? He come with. He come with with. You know what I'm saying? I think he's perfected. Um, even though some people, you know what I'm saying, might feel some type of way about some of the shit he do. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I be like, oh, this nigga wilding out. You know what I'm saying? It should be hilarious though. But um, you know, I don't know. Maybe I maybe I just like how he does what he does, and it doesn't come off malicious. It doesn't come off malicious. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes he do go in on motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? And another thing I can say about him, and I'm giving props, you know what I'm saying? This is me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, telling you how I kind of got into the internet stuff. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's well-rounded. You know what I'm saying? It's well-rounded. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not I'm not about to get on here and, and like tell niggas how to do their shit. But some of y'all are just on some negative, intrusive, trying to come up off negativity. And I'm not with that. You know what I'm saying? I don't care who puts what, I don't care what's being put on the internet as a as an individual. What, what's grabbing your attention? What's driving you? And a lot of you, and sad to say, a lot of y'all are driven by negativity. Negativity. You niggas is negative. You females out here on this internet, y'all are negative. Y'all all up in other people's business, commenting on everything they put on the internet, and then trying to capitalize off that, which is all negative, to, to benefit yourself. That's corny as hell to me. That's corny. That's corny. You know what I'm saying? That's corny shit. And then it's not even well-rounded. I see if, like, you mention this this time, and then you mention this this time. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all on that, that Wendy Williams type shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's some cornball shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I ain't knocking Wendy Williams. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying it's it's basically just contra controversial um commentary, controversial content. And it's like, damn, do y'all is there anything positive going on in y'all life? You know what I'm saying? What do you got going on? You know what I'm saying? Like I Man, I am not about to get on, on my shit and be talking about another person for three hours. Like, get the fuck out of here. If that's the case, then I'll do an interview with this person and get their side of the story. Do that. You know what I'm saying? If you got a problem with somebody, let's, okay, let's say, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I do interviews and stuff. Let's say I got an issue with some, somebody on the internet. You know what I'm saying? I've had one issue. I've had a few issues, but the only one I addressed was with, um, I think her name is Tanya TKO. I did this is like one of my early videos, like one of the first videos I did when I first started doing my podcast. And you know, I read I while she was doing a live one day, I messaged her. We went back and forth. Automatically, she got disrespectful. Asking like just questions, you know, they're they're opposing to her per, her per perspective. But I'm not doing it in an immature way. I'm asking her questions. You know what I'm saying? Like to gain understanding, like, okay, what's your what's your take? What's your perspective? You know what I'm saying? Why are you um saying the things that you're saying? What's motivating these these comments? What's motiv what's motivating these statements? And then when you question somebody, the first thing they do is get defensive. They get defensive. So you you are already putting out negative shit based off whatever you think in your mind is going on. You know what I'm saying? Which nine times out of ten be some opinionated shit because facts is facts. And when you show receipts, it's that. It ain't no assumptions in it. 
It ain't no, well, I feel this person's like this. No, say what it is, show what it is so people can see exactly what it is. Don't try to inject your opinion into something and make it factual. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to fact, you got to have hard evidence, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You can't put no opinion in fact. You know what I'm saying? So the first thing she did was get defensive. And then she started calling niggas names and shit. Now, you know, when she did that, I'm like, okay, you want smoke. I started to go straight into war mode. And I was like on it for about like a good day. But then you know what? I was like, you know what, Mike? Don't, don't allow the negative stuff that people are feeding on to self-benefit themselves um, take you to a place where you know you're a smoker, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Smoke your ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even on that time, but it's nothing like to just snap into that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't give a fuck, man. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not on that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not on that, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm on some, some, um, you know, mending myself type stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I say that to say, um, you know, a lot of people on here doing stuff and it's just negative, man. And then I see people following these people and it's just negative. It's negative. Y'all putting so much energy into other people on here instead of just, when I look at people, I take what I feel I could use and whatever I don't agree with or don't necessarily agree with, then I leave it with them, whatever it is. I'd be like, oh, I don't agree with that. I like that, but I don't agree with that. So I'll just take that, and then that's the end of it. I'm not fucking, you don't supposed to be wholeheartedly looking at people on the internet, falling in love with them and shit. Fall in love with yourself. Fall in love with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Take what you can take from people if they're presenting information or positive, if positive, productive information, take the stuff that you can apply to your life and then you flourish. If you're on the internet solely just talking about other people, talking about other people, talking about other people, talking about other people, your whole two, three hour show for the last month, two, three months is just dissecting other people's lives or other people's uh, content. Like, what is you doing with yourself? Like, so you mean to tell me you spend two, three hours on the internet talking about somebody else. How much time outside the internet are you thinking about this person? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you niggas is like, y'all motherfuckers on here is like, uh, like psychopaths, internet psychopaths and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what y'all doing? Like, you niggas is like, like, y'all like detectives on here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, <laughs> you niggas is internet detectives and shit. You niggas is like breaking down shit, niggas lives, females lives, and y'all going in, y'all got pictures, y'all got clips. Y'all got all this fucking information on people and shit, dude. You niggas is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, like shit like really only need to be addressed like once or twice. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you niggas is going in for months and months and months and months. It's basically like y'all obsessed with people. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's corny as hell, man. You know what I'm saying? That's not real to me. That's not real to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're inspired by trying to expose something about a person that you really don't even need to worry about because if a person is doing something, if a person is doing some crazy shit, then you know what I'm saying? It'll expose itself. It'll expose itself. 
You know what I'm saying? Just like you niggas is on here just, you know, y'all like fucking internet investigators. It's crazy. I don't know. It's fucking crazy to me. It's crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. Who the real, who the fake on here, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, um, See, I don't be, you know, I, I'm trying to stay positive. You know what I'm saying? So, but I get this example since everybody want to, you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and jump out there today. You know, um, the polite shit. Everybody on the polite shit. As soon as, as, soon as this, this shit break, everybody on this polite shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, It is what it is with that. I don't know nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? If if you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Um, it's nothing really that um I want to discuss. You know, I don't want to sit here and talk about any child being molested or none of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's not the content that I'm interested in. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's something that shouldn't be discussed, but, you know, I'm not about to speculate on nothing because I wasn't there. I don't know anything. Like, who are y'all getting y'all information from? You know what I'm saying? Are y'all talking to the fucking cops? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, are y'all are y'all talking to the forensics people? Do you have Do you guys have their number? Or are you just speculating off another page? You know what I'm saying? Like, who's talking to the detectives? Who's talking to the forensic people? Who's talking to the actual alleged victim? Who's talking to polite? You know what I'm saying? If your, if your information isn't coming from those sources, or at least a credible source, you know what I'm saying? Like, like what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, my point is this. That's just some side note shit right there with that shit. But the only reason I'm bringing him up, because I don't, I don't know that brother. I have had a conversation with him before. I had one conversation with him before. Um, we talked on the phone, you know what I'm saying, some years back, about three years back, we had a conversation, short, brief conversation. Um, based off that conversation, um, I chose not to do anything with him. You know what I'm saying? I chose not to, to interact with him anymore. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't know me. Um, he doesn't know me. You know what I'm saying? It was some brief shit. Couple, couple um, message exchanges led to a conversation, you know, and this was over a span of time. And we had a brief conversation. Based off that conversation, I chose not to go any further with anything regarding him. You know what I'm saying? So I say that to say this. Um, he was probably like the second person I ran into when I started really getting into the Internet. He was speaking some shit, a lot of shit that I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I, I just listened. I just listened. You know, I listened. You know what I'm saying? He's a good speaker. You know what I'm saying? Um, comes off intelligent. Not saying he isn't intelligent. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? He he seems intelligent. Uh, I'm, and I'm speaking from a time back then. You know what I'm saying? This is like, I'm speaking from when I first started watching him. So, you know, he going in, boom, boom. I'm like, oh, man, this brother, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, this brother spitting some shit. So I'm just learning. I'm learning. You know what I'm saying? And more so than learning, I'm just listening. I'm just listening. See, that's what y'all not doing. Y'all y'all so busy trying to get a feeling out of something. Just listen. Listen and then analyze. 
and leave your fucking opinion out of it. You know what I'm saying? Just let the shit soak in and let time pass. Time reveals all. You know what I'm saying? So as time went on, listening to Polite, you know, I liked the shit that he was saying. I was intrigued by what he was saying. Do I know this nigga? And I don't mean like that, because I don't know, buddy. I'm just saying, I don't know this dude. But the information that he's saying is things that I've never heard. And it's giving me a perception. It's, it's adding to my perception. And I'm learning. I'm listening. That's it. That's it. Now, time passes. You start getting people saying this. You start getting people saying that. Okay, here come the exposed videos. Cool. Cool. You know what I'm saying? I I listen to all the exposed videos. You know what I'm saying? As many, you know what I'm saying? As many as I ran across. You know what I'm saying? And I listen. I'm like, okay. You know, some shit seen may, may have some validity to it. Some shit, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe not. There's no way to really determine. I'm not there. Based off stuff, it could be true. Maybe not. Don't know. Stay away from that. The shit that I pay attention to is the shit that I see him do and the shit that I see him say. And then if some, if he's having a conversation with someone who say he did something that he wasn't supposed to do, I'll listen to when they talk and I'll make my decision. If I'm, well, I'm a fuck with a nigga or not. If you're somebody who never met this nigga, never talked to this nigga, and just posting exposed videos because you've seen it on another motherfucking shit, then I'll listen to your shit and I'll take what you say in, into mind, but that's all it's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not running with none of that, man. I'm not running with none of that. Cause I think for myself and I ain't no here trying to tear down nobody. Even if they did something wrong, I'm still not trying to tear them down. What does that do for me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What does it do for me to take time out of my life to tear you down because you did some shit that you know ain't right? It still does. Like, what's the? Why well, I'm not wasting no time on that? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not wasting my time on that. I don't have time to get on here to tear you down. And if I do address something that you're not doing right. Then once I address it, that's it. There's not going to be a thousand videos unless we going at it, going at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the meeting of the minds. Then I bow, 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 bow. But you motherfuckers, y'all y'all ain't in no conversations with these people. They don't even know who y'all is. And if they do know who y'all is, y'all y'all following building. You know what I'm saying? You know, you niggas is y'all made y'all made a lot of subscribers or whatever off using your time to worry about what another motherfucker is doing. What are you doing with yourself? What achievements are you doing besides your your subscribers going up based off another nigga's life? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's weirdo shit to me. That's weirdo shit to me. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you know niggas is weirdos these days and females is weirdos these days. I don't know. So who the real and the fake? How do you distinguish? I'm trying to give you niggas some jewels about y'all watching and how y'all comprehend shit that y'all see on the internet, my nigga. Because you niggas is like zombies. Get off the zombie shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people I watch that I admire. They're inspiring. They're inspiring. You know what I'm saying? They, they're doing things that I don't know how to do. They're teaching things that I don't know. But I'm not hanging on to none of these niggas' words and getting mad if they do something that's against what they stood for and, oh, 
Niggas can change their minds at the drop of a hat. Have you ever changed your motherfucking mind? Have you ever said one thing and then did some other shit? Everybody do that from time to time. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just regular human shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You niggas is holding on to people. You, you motherfuckers are so attached to people. You niggas is sinking all y'all energy into other people when y'all should be sinking that shit into yourself. You supposed to take what the fuck is good that you could get from a person. Take that. Anything that's bad, you know what I'm saying? Leave that. And you, you grow. You blossom. You niggas is on this internet for the wrong shit, man. And y'all corny as hell. Y'all some corny niggas. You know what I'm saying? I, I see I got to come and rectify shit. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't even on it like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the one. I'm not the one with this internet shit. You know what I'm saying? I come from like some real shit. And, you know, the principles and the morals that I uphold are far beyond this internet shit. Far beyond. You know what I'm saying? I'm on some, I'm on some inspiring our youth to be the best positive, productive people that they could be. I'm not on here trying to pick into people's personal lives, people's content to the point. I'm not on even look at motherfuckers. Like I look at people content. But it's like you niggas, I don't know. I don't know how y'all, I don't know. Maybe, okay. Maybe this was just what it is, man. Maybe it's just controversial, controversial media, and that's how you niggas make a buck. You know what I'm saying? It's goofball shit to me. It's goofball. You know what I'm saying? Then y'all don't even do it in a professional way. It ain't real, it ain't even well rounded. Like, if you're gonna be just like on here just talking shit about people, which is corny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just corny. Like, what is you doing? What are you doing with yourself? Are you involved in anything? Because we know you know about this person. You talk about this person 24-7, eight, eight days a week. You know what I'm saying? Cool. But what are you doing with yourself? What do you have going on? You know, did you did you take your kids to the park today? Did you teach them about not talking to strangers? Um, you know what I'm saying? Have you combed your hair today? <laughs> Have you combed your hair today, my nigga? Like, you know what I'm saying? Comb your hair first, my nigga, before you, you start talking about other people. Comb your hair, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I had an interesting day on the internet, man. It's very fun and entertaining. Um, this is all hilarious to me. Um, by the way, um, <laughs> So, um, <laughs> these niggas be getting on the internet. Like, I, I came on the internet, nigga. I had the big beard, the dope, you know what I'm saying? But I still be looking fly. These niggas be on here looking like straight trash. Um, <laughs> it's hilarious. Niggas, how you, you come on here looking trashy, so we already know you trashy off this motherfucker. Nigga. Like, get the fuck up out of here. So, um, yeah, man, the real and the fake, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm on here inspiring. You know what I'm saying? Inspiring. Creativity, hard work, progression, um, positivity, productivity. You know what I'm saying? That's what, and you know, I got a small platform we building. Um, you know, I'm having fun doing it. You know, it's just now, like, I'm running into a lot of weirdo shit. I'm like, what the fuck going on? Like, this one niggas be on on the internet? It's like, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I don't know. It seemed like just crabbing the, crab the bucket stuff. It's crabbing the bucket stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's trying to pull another person down so you could get up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never been that type of dude. I've always um, gave props when props is due. Um, you know, I know ain't nobody perfect in the world. Some people, you know, do things and make mistakes. Some people are doing things on purpose to um, benefit themselves that ain't right. Um, you know, those type of people, you know, it's going to all come to the light, man. It's all going to come to the light, man.
You know what I'm saying? I'm just not going to be the type of person to to use that as a footstool to to benefit myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not that type of dude. If y'all obviously it's a lot of y'all that, that are those type of people. You know what I'm saying? You'll take whatever you can get to to progress. I'm just not that type of dude. Man. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna play the game fair. Um, ears to the streets is about um, inspiring. It's about information, and it's gonna be factual information. And you know why it's gonna be factual information? Because I'm the one reporting it, and I know that nigga. I'm only gonna say some factual shit. If I'm not saying nothing factual, then I'm just doing my thing and giving you me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not speculating. I'm not assuming nothing. And I'm not. And I'm not um, using my platform as a as a stepping stool to come up off other people's content that might be whatever it might be. You know what I'm saying? So, man, um, I don't know, man. You know, I could go a little deeper. Let's go a little deeper. Why not? So, about 41 minutes on, you know, so I'll give y'all a little bit more time. It's real and fake. Another thing y'all need to look at. Um, Internet, everything is become everything is digital. Everybody is pulling people into their lives. Y'all, I'm pulling y'all into my life. You know what I'm saying? Cool. You know, ain't no skeletons over here. Am I perfect? Hell motherfucking no. Nah. Have I done things that I'm not proud of in my life? Yes. You know what I'm saying? But I'm honestly making an effort to better myself in all aspects. You know what I'm saying? I'm down 100 pounds. Used to be overweight. You know what I'm saying? Still overweight now, but I'm down 100. You know what I'm saying? Got about another 30, 40 to go till I, till I re, re, reach my goal. That's one way I'm working on myself. Let me give you some inspiration, some, some people that was inspirational in me losing the weight. You know what I'm saying? Besides myself, besides me taking the initiative on my own to um, to lose the weight. David Goggins. Matter of fact, I can't remember the dude name, but he lost a lot of weight. I can't remember his name because he's the one that put me on the David Goggins. You know what I'm saying? I liked the dude. The dude was cool. You know what I'm saying? I was listening to him. Nice. I thought, man, I can't hear I remember his name. You know what I'm saying? Because I would love to just show him some love because... I was listening to him at first, and he put he, he put me, he said he had a video, and he was like, man, he was like, a lot of y'all want to be like David Goggins, and he like, nigga, David Goggins is like a totally different fucking animal. Y'all trying to be on some David Goggins shit, it took, he was like, it took me three years to lose all this weight, and, you know, he was a cool dude, I liked him, you know what I'm saying, I liked his content, real nice dude. He did a video where he was kind of, he felt some type of way about like the stomach flab, you know, when you big and you had a stomach flab, but you lose the weight, but you still had that saggy skin and he showed it and he was saying how, um, you know, he always felt insecure about it, but he showed it to, that was a, that was a step for him, man. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers is on here doing things for themselves to build themselves up. Him showing that was a, a test for him to pass for himself by revealing that to the world. You know what I'm saying? But that's him character building himself. You see what I'm saying? He character building himself. He using this to build himself up. Y'all are using this to tear other people down. That's the fake niggas on his shit. If you on here using this shit to tear people down, that's fake shit. That's fake. 
And I don't even give a fuck if um and and, and if and when you talk about something, you gotta have the facts, man. I don't want to hear no opinions and no assumptions. Have 100 percent facts if you going after somebody. Ain't nobody trying to hear that speculation shit and all that opinionated shit, man. Have facts. I want to see 100% facts. If I'm listening to an exposure video, that shit better be 100% accurate. Or it better be, nigga, high 90s. High, high, nigga, over 95% accurate. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here with that shit, nigga. But anyway, to go back to Buddy, um, you know, he, he did that for himself on the weight loss thing. But... He had said, man, y'all trying to be like David Goggins. So when I was like, when I, listened, when I heard him say that, I was like, uh, I was like, who the fuck is David Goggins? So I, I looked at David Goggins, and I seen this nigga. I was like, oh, this is the nigga right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this nigga's hard fight. Nigga, stay hard, nigga. Stay hard, nigga. Stay hard. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you niggas listen in there, those niggas on some soft shit. Stay hard, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Y'all on some soft shit. So when I seen him, I was like, oh, this nigga's the truth. You know what I'm saying? I don't even listen to Buddy no more. But it's cool, though, because he was someone that gave me something I needed at the time, and it transferred me to some, where, I, where I needed to be. You see what I'm saying? That's how this works. He inspired he was someone that was giving me information because he was further along in his journey with weight loss than I was at the time. When I was listening to him, he had already lost all his weight. He, psh, nigga, he, psh, he like this on niggas. I'm like this on niggas. So I'm listening to him. And it was information. It was informative. I was feeling him. He said, David Goggins. I looked at David Goggins. And the attitude that David Goggins had toward losing weight, that's what I needed right there. That's after I already made my mind up, though. Everything starts with me. I don't need another nigga to um, make up my mind for me what I wanted to do. I made my mind up to lose the weight. If I would have never listened to David Goggins, I still would have lost the weight. You see what I'm saying? But David Goggins, that's the universe. That's God. That's the creator. You know what I'm saying? Put me like, boom, that's where you're supposed to be. And once I seen David Goggins, I was like, okay, that's inspiration for me. Not motivation, inspiration. I motivate myself. Can't nobody else motivate you. If you don't have the self-motivation, you're always going to fail. No one can motivate you. They can inspire you. You can't motivate. You got to motivate your motherfucking self. You know what I'm saying? You got to get right in your head and be like, let me go get it. Let me go get it. Let me go get it. You know what I'm saying? Now, they're going to say something to inspire you to spark your motivation. That's what it's about, my nigga. Positivity, production. And I was going hard in the gym. I kind of fell off. I need to listen to some more David Goggins because I ain't worked out in about two weeks. Maybe three. You know what I'm saying? Even though I get a workout at my job. You know what I'm saying? But regardless of that, you know, that's why I needed to be. That's what this is about, man. Quit using this device as a tool of destruction. You got a whole life that you could be presenting for people to inspire and build people up. Y'all niggas is wasting time trying to... Worry about what another motherfucker doing wholeheartedly. You know what I'm saying? I look at other people and be laughing at shit. Or I look at them and be like, oh, shit, yeah, that's cool. But nigga, I'm building my life. I'm bettering myself. I ain't got time to be worrying about another nigga shit. All up in their motherfucking business, breaking down every little instinct of their shit. That's corny shit, nigga. That's lame shit, nigga. That's like being on the block and the nigga down the street getting money. And all you do is sit on your porch and watch what he doing all day and talk about it to another nigga. That's cornball shit. Goofball ass nigga. Corny ass nigga. 
Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> Goof ass nigga. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> niggas a cornball, man. These niggas is funny acting ass niggas, man. Niggas don't know no real god body shit. You niggas ain't improving on y'all selves. You niggas is worried about other niggas. <laughs> you trying to man, I don't even want to tell the story that happened today because you know it's cornball shit. But you know, um, you know, that's how, I, that was my journey to losing weight, man. I'm down a buck. You know what I'm saying? About 90, 95, you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Looking oh so fucking handsome, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? What you talking about, my nigga? You know, fly niggas. You know what I'm saying? It's always been this way. Don't worry about it, my nigga. You ain't one of those guys, obviously. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got a nice subscribers off negativity, though. You know, I feel you, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of negative, a lot of negative people, uh, negative people in the world who uh, who feed off, who feed off misery. It's a lot of them. You gotta, you have a plethora of people out here in this world who feed off negativity, who are miserable, who are sitting at home and don't know how to approach life. You know what I'm saying? Smoking all day. Drinking all day, eating the bad foods all day, thinking negative all day, mad all day, hating all day. <laughs> <laughs> it's misery, baby. It loves company, baby. Y'all niggas is miserable out there, man. Like it's fucked up, man. It's crazy to me. It's crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? Everybody have bad days. Everybody, you know, it's life, man. You know, we live in a fucked up system. Bills is coming every month. You know what I'm saying? My money don't be right sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But damn, nigga, I'd be damned if I just turned into one of you negative ass niggas and y'all feeding off. It's like parasites, man. Y'all feeding off all the bad things. Just eating up all the bad things, absorbing it and putting it back out there. It's just negative shit. Negative shit, negative shit, negative, negativity. You just breed more negativity and shit. Niggas is cornballs, man. When I say niggas, I mean females too. So um man, it's crazy, man. But um <laughs> niggas is crazy, man. Oh my real. What y'all niggas on here for, man? Y'all ain't building within, man. Y'all not building within. I'm looking at y'all. I'm looking at what y'all doing. Y'all not building within. Y'all not even, y'all not even um helping the community get better. All y'all doing is keeping people in the same miserable spot, judging people, projecting, you know, you you sitting here critiquing another person to the death, but um, are you critiquing yourself like this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Are you this analytical with yourself? You know what I'm saying? Are you breaking down your life like you breaking down other people's lives and situations and content? You know what I'm saying? If you were breaking yourself down that much, you wouldn't have time to be worrying about nobody else. Cause that's just trust me. That's what I'm on right now, and that should take 24 hours out the day, my nigga. Making sure I eat right. You know what I'm saying? Making sure I have positive content to talk about when I do get on here. You know what I'm saying? But that just shows that just shows me what type of people, you know, is living within the world. A lot of negative people that's hurt or feel betrayed by whatever. Like, nigga, how can anybody on the internet betray you? Like, nigga, like you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't even know these people. You know what I'm saying? If you're supporting financially, okay, cool. If it comes a time that this person is doing something that you feel isn't beneficial based on what you're giving financial-wise, then you stop giving financially, and that's the end of it. You know, when you're, when you're tired of eating the fucking... The death burgers at McDonald's, 
you just stop going to the drive through right? Do you try to, um, I mean, well, I guess, you know, you niggas, is, <laughs> you know, I guess, uh, I don't know, man. Y'all niggas funny. Man. I, don't know. I don't even know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a loss for words for a lot of you guys. Um, yeah, man, just stop fucking with a nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I'm just not the type to sit here, man, and be talking about another person 24-7, seven days a week and make that the basis of my progression on the internet. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, it isn't even, like, a balanced way of doing it. Like I said, like, that's one way I got I to gotta give, I gotta give, like, respect to Star. Like, like, he be on bullshit. You know what I'm saying? He be talking shit about motherfuckers. He be talking stuff about people and all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, maybe I just like his personality so it doesn't come off like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's, maybe it's a bias thing or maybe it's a subjective thing. With people. I don't know. It's cornball stuff to me with a lot of you dudes. The stuff I've been seeing for the last few days, I've been like, oh, my. It's like just straight cornball stuff. Goofy. Um, it is what it is with that. But, yeah, man, I'm about to wrap it up, man. You know, I can't. I ain't got no more on this subject, man. Y'all got to... Y'all got to um, stop um, holding on to, ain't nobody, ain't nobody on this internet going to um, give you all the tools for you to be the best person you can be, you know, take what you can take, use it for yourself, use the information for yourself, use the, inf the uh, inspiration for yourself and build yourself up. You know what I'm saying? It seems like some of y'all don't want to build yourself up. You know what I'm saying? You guys want to get some money. Y'all want to get some notoriety. You know, y'all want to be popular. But you guys don't want to be productive. Y'all don't want to be positive. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. I don't rock with negativity. I don't, I don't rock with um, tearing other people down. Um, if you're going to come at somebody on certain things, then please try to make it 100% factual. You know, you can be opinionated, but being opinionated about the same thing for four or five, six months straight is just obsessive, lame shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's obsessive, lame shit. Is is no, there's no one worth talking about for that long? You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, because that's because you're not doing nothing with yourself, or you've just made a come up off being a crab in the bucket. You'll step on somebody else. You'll pull somebody else down to get yourself up. That's what that basically boils down to: crab in the bucket. That's all it is. You crabs in the bucket. You know what I'm saying? Straight crabs in the bucket. Um, it's sad because the black community, you know, is so divided. And, you know, you people, people like y'all, y'all keep it that way. Y'all keep it that way. Y'all keep it that way. Y'all keep us divided. Um, keep us behind. Stop the fuck, stopping the unity that could, could that could uh, transpire. Everyone's not gonna agree on everything. If you're sitting here, a woman or a guy looking at somebody on the internet and think this person is always gonna say something and do something that's gonna make you feel good, then you're delusional. That doesn't even happen in relationships, and y'all sleep with these people every night. You're in the same bed with this person, and you know this person. And this person sometimes makes you mad or sometimes says something you don't agree with or sometimes rubs you the wrong way. So and this is a person you love. You sleep in the bed with this person every night. You see this person every day. They come by the house every day. You've been knowing this person for 15, 20, 25 years. And this person upsets you. So what makes you think that someone that you're listening to on the Internet that you subscribe to? It's always going to say and do exactly what you would like and say for, for like and say something that you would want them to say. 
You know what I'm saying? If I said that right. What makes you think that? What makes you think this person is always going to say the right thing? Always do the right thing that you feel they should do. That you feel they should do. What the fuck are you doing with yourself? What should you do? You know what I'm saying? Maybe you should quit dick riding people on the internet and you and being a crab in a bucket. Talk about your life. That's what I do on here. You know, I give props and I, I talk about the things that I'm doing in my life and I give information so people could have be informed about whatever it is I'm talking about, whatever the topic is. Take what you can use, what you what you don't feel is useful, leave it, and that's the end of it. You can only save you. The only people that can help you get to where you want to go is yourself and the people that are in your your circle or whatever. And then whatever information you hear on the internet, you use that to the best of your ability to better yourself. All these hate campaigns, all this cancel stuff, Y'all are lames. Y'all are, um, your perspective on life isn't productive. It isn't positive. It isn't uplifting. It isn't inspiring. And it's driven off negativity and misery. It's sad. And you're sad. But I'm out of here, man. God is G. He is to the streets. I'm definitely a real one. A real one. I'm probably the realest on this motherfucker. Matter of fact, I think I am the realest on this motherfucker. Matter of fact, I don't think I'm the realest on this motherfucker. I know I'm the realest on this motherfucker. I know I am. <laughs> Not saying it ain't no good people doing what they do. You know what I'm saying? I know it's good people on here. I can name, I can name a shit, I can name a nice amount of them. I ain't gonna say a shitload. You know what I'm saying? I know it's good people doing good stuff on the internet, and that's all they do. Upstanding, genuine, commendable people who come on here, um, they they Kicked it, they kick what they kick. It isn't malicious, you know, it's informative, it's entertaining, um, it's inspiring, and then they get off of here and they live their lives. They're not sitting around doing two, three hour exposure videos on people with no facts, a lot of speculation, and a lot of assumptions, and a lot of opinions. No facts, though. No hard facts, though. They're not doing that. So I congratulate you people. Y'all are the real ones. Y'all are the real ones on the internet. The people who come on here who are being positive, even if even if um, the people that are on here are doing positive, they spit their knowledge, their research, whatever their content is, and then they leave it at that, and they... They do, they, they live their lives and they better themselves and they hit the people with what they feel the people need to hear to better themselves and inspire themselves to do better for themselves. To all y'all on the internet, on that misery stuff, chatty patty stuff, bringing down, tearing down people, um, your whole page is dedicated to tearing down people and acting like you're some type of um savior or internet police you know what i'm saying y'all corny than a motherfucker y'all ain't got no y'all ain't got no facts you know what i'm saying it's a lot of speculation you know what i'm saying a lot of just goofball stuff you look goofy um you know you might have uh, a lot of people rolling with you but it just shows you that you have a community of goofy people 
There's a lot of you got to think it's seven billion people, eight billion, how many billion people in the world? Do that? Do you understand? What, and we just let's just talk about America. We don't even get off into overseas. Let's just focus on the United States of America. I don't know, like three, four hundred million. Three, four hundred million people in the United States of America. Do you know how many miserable people you got out here? How many negative, low vibrational people you got out here? It's a lot of it's a lot of hurt people out here, man. A lot of sick people out here. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people that's just, you know, the system has beat them up so much to where they they don't they don't they've lost their their they've lost that essence. They've lost they've lost that purity within them. You know what I'm saying? They lost it. It's gone. It's gone. Y'all y'all miserable inside and you know y'all nitpick on every little thing about another person. You know? It ain't it ain't that much time in the day to be worrying about somebody else that much unless it's like your kids. You're supposed to be worrying about your kids. If you're going to worry about somebody, worry about somebody that needs you to help them be better than you was. You know, what is it? What is y'all doing? You know, what is y'all doing? You know, like. Be be somebody that's that's solid. Be solid. Be stand up, man. You know what I'm saying? Be a stand-up type brother, you know? Don't be a cornball, man. Y'all niggas is suffering from goofy, goofy, goofyitis. <laughs> These niggas got goofyitis. Like, what's going on, man? Why you niggas got goofyitis? How y'all catch goofyitis? You know what I'm saying? Where, where would you die? I'm diagnosing you niggas with goofyitis. <laughs> These niggas got goofyitis. These niggas, nigga, fuck COVID. COVID ain't got shit on goofyitis. Goofyitis niggas taking over. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, you niggas. <laughs> these niggas got goofy itis. Oh my god. Oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's sad, man. Cause when you get goofy itis, man, you know it's hard to get rid of goofy itis. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you need like some real, real hardcore, solid counseling to come from goofy itis. You know what I'm saying? It's deadly. You know what I'm saying? So, to all you people out there. In America, suffering from goofyitis, um, you know, I, I'll subscribe you. Um, you know, I don't know, like you probably gotta like go back to the basics, man, and um, you know, clean up whatever little traumas you got in your life. You know, whatever happened in your childhood, and you know, you know, go back to the source. You got to get back to the source of why you, why you, how you, when you call goofyitis or what. Um, things happen in your life to bring you to a point to where the goofyitis got a hold of you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So backtrack, go all the way back. You know what I'm saying? And make sure, <laughs> make sure you duck like the '90s, nigga. Make sure you duck like the '90s, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm from that era too, nigga. Make sure you duck, nigga. <laughs> make sure you duck, nigga. <laughs> oh, those niggas got goofy items. So yeah, man. You know, I know, I know, niggas is miserable. You know, niggas, is, you know, sitting up in their room sniffing coke. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, with the, with niggas pictures on their walls and, and, and with with the with the yarn with the with the tax in it with the yarn trying to connect all the dots and shit, man. Like, man, connect the dots with yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? Build yourself up, bro. You know, um, build yourself up, man. Build yourself up, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm on here. You know, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. You know, I ain't no no superstar, nothing. I ain't even really on it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really looking for no notoriety like that. Like I said, man. I'm on. If I could, if I could grab a couple use with what I'm saying, and they'd be like, oh man, that was some real shit. I could really use that in my life. And go forward. That's what it's about for me, man. Because that's what a nigga did for me. A real nigga. You know what I'm saying? A few real niggas. But you know what I'm saying? Like, when I was young, 
um, I, you know, it was some people in my life, it was some people that I didn't know, like through music, you know, through movies or whatever the case may be, man, that just inspired me, man. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, it inspired the positivity in me. It sparked the, it sparked the respect and the morals and the principles to move solid. Not to be a nigga on some goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's the thing, man. You got to give player haters plenty of space, man. You know, Pac said that, man. You give player haters plenty of space. You know what I'm saying? You know, so I see a lot ain't changed. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all is out here um, just miserable, um, coming up, putting your foot on the next person's back, trying to push them down so you can get out the bucket. Crab niggas, crabs, you know what I'm saying? So, man, I guess y'all just crabs out here. Hopefully, y'all can get rid of the goofyitis and, um, you know, try to better, better yourself, man. So, it's communities of goofies out here. It's just communities of goofies out here. It's, it's sad, man. It's sad that, you know, you guys didn't get the proper upbringing, the real G thorough upbringing. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't too late for y'all. I got faith in y'all, man. I think y'all could get rid of goofyitis. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta, um, you know, you just gotta shift your thinking a little bit, go back into your childhood, handle some of those things, you know what I'm saying? And then move forward in a positive, productive way. You know? Move forward in a positive, productive way. You know what I'm saying? But Man, it's the God HG, man. Who's real? Who's fake on the internet? One, two, three. Three, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? The world may never know. You know what I'm saying? But um, I hope I gave y'all a few jewels to, to, to know how to navigate the internet. You know, don't be a dick rider. Let me rephrase that. Don't be a D-I-C-K rider. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, take what you can get, apply it the right way, be productive, and that's the end of it. And if somebody's doing something on the internet or with the community that isn't right, just be 100% factual um, and have the right receipts, no speculation, no assumptions, fact, fact, you know what I'm saying, has to be a fact. You have to have proof. You know what I'm saying? Not speculation. You know? So that is what it is for me, man. The God AG is to the street. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Make sure y'all hit that notification bell. And man, oh, I'm just going to put this out here. Um, Got a beautiful interview tomorrow. I don't do my interviews live. So you, probably, you guys probably won't get it until it's Wednesday. Y'all probably won't get it until about Friday, Saturday, or I might drop it on a Sunday because I know everybody be chilling on Sundays for the most part. Um, so got a beautiful interview with Octavia. Octavia Dunnigan, powerful sister, powerful sister. Um, she's going to be on. We're going to do the interview tomorrow. I'm going to try to. Have the video uploaded by the weekend no later than sunday though i really i think i might just drop it on sunday um entrepreneur businesswoman um mother um i was listening to her videos she's spitting jewels giving jewels using the internet to be positive using the internet to be productive using the internet Bring you into her life to help you get whatever you can take from her experiences, apply them positively to your situation to build you up, to make you a better person, to make you a more positive, productive person. You know what I'm saying? She's using the internet in a way to help the community. She has her own, her own uh, boutique, her and her husband, her family communicating in a positive way. I reached out to her. You know, the universe takes me to the realest. And then it takes me to the people I need to probably destroy. Because 
you know, I'm, I'm trying to stay in a positive lane, you know, but I don't know. I've been kind of debating, like, do I need to really, you know, like come at people? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the people who are on negative stuff on the internet, like, I just want to like rush you niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you know what I'm saying? But let's remain productive, positive. Because I'll be doing the same thing if I did that. If I wasted all my time engaging you because you have goofyitis, then that'll stop my blossom. So that's what's not going to happen. So we will be interviewing Octavia Dunnigan tomorrow, Ears to the Streets, a very graceful, um, from what I've seen, um, graceful um lady um like i said she's a mother she's a business owner she's a youth mentor oh it's beautiful youth mentor you know bringing these kids up that might not have their fathers in their lives might have not have may, may not have their mothers in their lives may had family members that was on drugs may grew up in foster systems kids that need help they need information, positive information, productivity, you know what I'm saying? A helping hand, a kind word, building our youth up positive, positively, you know what I'm saying? With positivity, you know, doing the right thing, showing people how to be successful, giving you their experiences not saying you got to follow their blueprint, but whatever little thing that you could take to get out of that to help you build you up. That's what she's about. Using the internet. She's one of the real ones. She's one of the real ones. I could see it. Is she perfect? No one is. No one is. But she's being productive. She's being positive. That's what it's about. Not you, not y'all that's on here doing the crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to promote what she has on my small platform. It's cool. I'm 136 subscribers. That's going to be 136 people who didn't know about Octavia Dunnigan. Entrepreneur, her husband, Frederick Ray, working as a unit, a black man, black woman working together to build success and they're projecting positivity into the into the ether into the minds of people on how to be positive productive individuals in the black community and in the world that's what we need to turn this hell hole back into a heaven into a paradise a lot of y'all out here making this place hell. Y'all making it pure hell to be here. We supposed to be enjoying this on this limited time. This supposed to be a party, a positive, productive, creative party. That's what we supposed to be doing on here, having fun, laughing. But y'all are miserable. <laughs> y'all are miserable. Y'all have called goofyitis. <laughs> You have goofyitis. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so yeah, man. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful woman, Octavia Dunnigan. Uh, we spoke a few days ago. Um, I listened to her videos. Make sure y'all go subscribe to her. You know what I'm saying? Her boutique, her boot, her name on Instagram is boutique. Her name is Octavia Dunnigan. That's on Instagram. And then if you go to her bio, you'll see her boutique. Uh, it's called 111 on YouTube. It's um, Octavia Dunnigan. Um, Octavia, D-U-N-I-G-A-N, G-A-N, I think that's how you spell it. Um, we're doing an interview tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. And then I'll drop it no later than Sunday. Um, you know, go subscribe to her, her website for her boutique. Um, you know, I'm excited about the interview, like I said, and uh, man, that's what it is, man. So, we out, man. Ears to the streets, the God HG, like I said, hit that subscribe button.
hit that notification bell, and we out. Salute.